Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself, Prothitora, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudhu Chandra Shodh Degree Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. Today we learn about the power triangle, the conception of power, that is the active power, reactive power, real power, and also the conception of power factor. So, whatever we have learned, that the average value of any electrical quantity set current can be written as 0 0.637 of its peak value and the RMS value can be written as 0 0.70 that is peak value by root 2 that is 0 0.707 of peak value so the power distribution can be written as that is the power that is converted AC power that is converted into the heat that is I square R can be written as I R M S square I R M S square into R in watts. That is I square R that is given that is I R M N square into that is I R M S square into R in watts. That is the power that is dissipated in the resistor. So let us take the conception of power triangle. In case of the power triangle, first of all, we'll just draw the power triangle, then we will approach to the conception. First, know about the basic of the power triangle. So first I am dealing with power triangle basic. So let us take in the formation of our triangle conception. The power that is divided according to the law of vector triangle law these powers can be classified this is known as the resultant power or apparent power this is the resultant power of two powers that is called the active power and the reactive power and it is denoted, the unit is known as KVA. K into V into A means volt into ampere. This is known as active power, the power that is required in order to compensate the losses, all the losses that is occurring on a line transmission line and also to run our loads that is the loads like ac fridge fans this power is required and the unit of this power is kilo watt and the third one is known as reactive power the reactive power is required in order to produce the magnetic field the flux order to produce the magnetic field that is the flux within the machine and it is denoted by kilo volt ampere and the R that stands for reactive 
kilo volt ampere reactive to the air. So it is seen that the conception of the power that is the total power active power is denoted by R, reactive power is denoted by Q, and so total power can be denoted by the P. So power is a complex conjugated that is P equal to R plus JQ. Which is why the 90 degree rotation is there. Okay, so the value of the magnitude of the power can be calculated with the help of right angle triangles law that is r square root over of r square plus q square and what is the theta that is the angle between that two powers that is the theta can be calculated as 10 inverse Q by R, then theta equal to Q by R, so theta equal to 10 inverse Q by R. So this is the complex power. So power can be written in terms of power P equal to V I star. I star because V will remain same and I will be become I cos theta and I sin theta. So here only the change in the i. This is called the i cos theta part and this is called the i sin theta part. So this is the general equation of the power triangle. The power triangles are dealing with the apparent power that is the vi, v into i, followed by the active power and the two components are there, the active power and the reactive power. The active power is generally used in order to compensate all the losses and in order to round, run the loads the loads like our household household loads like tv fridge refrigerator so all the losses that i square the losses that i have just give you a, a, just i have shown you about the losses i square a loss in ac circuit those losses can be nullified with the help of the active power the reactive power is responsible to produce the magnetic field within the circuit and also the reactive power is responsible to generate the flux within the circuit and the resultant of the two powers is known as the apparent power. This is known as the power triangle conception. So from the power triangle conception, we will come to the power factor. So the vector law of power conception or the vector's law of the uh, triangle law, we have seen that this is the first component of the power means a, B, A, cos theta equal to, that is from the law of kilowatt. So this cos theta is generally known as the power factor, which is known as the ratio of active power to the apparent power it is the ratio of active power to the apparent power so this is the cos theta is known as the power factor and it is the ratio of active power to the apparent power this is known as power factor the ratio of active power the apparent power is known as the power factor or cos theta so it is the general definition of power factor from the law of vector's law of triangle and the reactive power can be written as kva kva sin theta 
a v a sin theta equal to kilo volt ampere that is the r stands for reactive okay so this is the general equation of the from the triangle law we just find the conception of power triangle the complex power conception along with the conception of active power reactive power and the conception of power factor so these phases are generally known to us so what is the real power in the ac circuit now we are now very much concentrating on the real power on the ac circuit this real power that is known as i square r power this is in watt reactive power that is q is i square into x that is volt ampere and it is known as apparent power uh, reactive power and the apparent power is i square into z it is known as volt ampere and why this is r z and the is r term r z and the uh, conception of r z and the x is coming from the power triangle that is called the impedance impedance triangle if i draw the impedance triangle this is the resistance part this is the reactance part reactance parts and this is the total part of the impedance so if i draw the impedance triangle so if i draw the impedance triangle power triangle is seen to us so if i draw the Dense triangle from the impedance triangle conception, we can easily draw the conception of so the impedance triangle suggests that this is always we have seen just that the resistance is always in phase, and this is followed by the x or the capacitance or Inductor capacitor combination of the both two are there, and this is called the Z. They apply the same conception that fire triangle conception that we have applied here. Yeah. So, Z is generally known to us as a impedance, this is reactance, and this is called the resistance. So, this is R is known as the resistance, is known to us resistance. This is called the reactance. Reactance. And this is called the total impedance of the circuit. That is Z. Total. That is the Z. That is the total impedance of the circuit. It's called the Z. So this power loss can be written as say the p can be written as or say p can be written as i square into r in watts okay so this power that is one this power can be written as let's say it in q that can be written as i square into q in terms of power Sorry, uh, I square into x, the power called Q can be written as that, uh, as that is in AVAR, that power is in uh, watts, that is the volt ampere reactives, that is the VAR power, uh, so that is VAR, VAR, or so KVAR, same, and this power can be written as. The total power say this is the power uh, total power say s or r anything we can write uh, this can we can write as a p or r so total power s can be written as i into z so the power triangle conception said that the power the impedance z can be written as r plus gx so what is the magnitude of the z magnitude of the z from the right angle triangle law will be written as root 
to power of r square plus x square. So what is the value of angle? The angle theta can be written as 10 inverse of x by r, the reactance by the resistance. So this is the impedance law, impedance triangle rule. It is clearly written as so as x equal to z cos theta, r equal to z cos theta. It is given here. So r equal to z cos theta from the law of triangle. Vector's law of the triangle. This four portion will be the cos theta part, and x equal to z sin theta. X equal to z sin theta. So this is called the impedance triangle. From the impedance triangle, we are found in the powers. So what is the real power? The real power is known as the Q or the active power. That I have proved the real power is generally required. It is denoted by the P in the AC circuit. Uh, same power as P in the DC circuit. It is same. So just like DC circuit, it is always calculated as I square R loss in what? Where R is the total resistive component of the circuit. It is generally required in order to compensate the losses and also load the uh, to load the runs, uh, run the loads. So the phase diagram is generally known to us that R is always in same phase with the P. So the total real power loss can be calculated by P equal to I square R or V star I star cos theta. Okay, so to find the corresponding value of the real power, the Rn is voltage and the current values are multiplied, that is by the cosine of the phase angle in order to Vi cos phi, that is the RMS values Always we are dealing with RMS values as the resistance do not produce any phase difference as phase shift between the voltage and the current waveforms. All the useful powers is divided directly to the resistance and converted to heat, light, and work. The power consumed by a resistance is the real power, which is fundamentally called the circuit average power. So the real power calculation can be done P equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos theta. Uh, cos phi. The phi is geodically then P equal to VRMS into R. R RMS into 1 because why cos phi equal to 0 degree because there is no phase displacement so angle phi equal to 0 degree so cos 0 degree equal to 1 so p equal to v RMS into RMS i RMS in watts where the p is the power in watts and the voltage in RMS voltage and the current is RMS current the real power is the i square r loss resistive element measured in watts which is to read on utility energy meter and has units in watts kilowatts megawatts so the p is always positive so the reactive power the concept of r the bar is coming into the play due to in order to produce the fluxes and the fluxes in the machine to run the machine the reactive power q sometimes is called the wattless power is the power consumed in the AC circuit that does not perform any useful work but it has a big effect on the phase shift that is between the voltage and the current of which is produced the phase shift Reactive power is linked to the reactants produced by the inductors and the capacitors and counters the effects of the real power. Reactive power does not exist in the DC circuit. So unlike the real power P, which does not work, reactive power Q takes power always from the circuit due to the creation and reduction in both inductive magnetic fields at the capacitive electrostatic fields, thereby making it harder for the two power to supply power directly to a circuit or a load. The power stored in the inductor in its magnetic field tries to control the current while the power stored in the capacitor electrostatic field tries to control the voltage. So the power that is generated in the inductor which is generally used to control the magnetic field that is control the current that is inductor and also the power that is generated in the capacitor which is generally control the voltage. The resulted capacitor generated reactive power and the inductor consumed the reactive power means but the inductor is responsible or capacitor that is electrostatic fields tries to control the voltage and the magnetic fields try to control the current. So the capacitor is generally generate the reactive power and the inductors generally consume the uh, capacitor is responsible for generating the in reactive power and the inductor is uh, responsible for consuming the uh, reactive power. This means that both consume and return power to the source. So the raw real power is consumed. So reactive power can be determined as Q equal to I square R, that is VI sine theta, or the volt ampere reactive. As there is a 90 degree phase difference between the voltage and the current, means the phase lead or lag, because there is a conception of that we have seen in our design diagram, that the conception of the capacitor or the inductor will allow a current or voltage to lead or lag. So the 90 degree phase displacement is there. So 
the pure reactant that is inductive of property multiply v i star by the sine theta gives them vertical component of the 90 degree that we have seen in the phase out that is the vr okay so the capacitor is responsible for generating the uh, reactive power or uh, capacitor is generally responsible to generate the reactive power or the inductor inductor is consumes the reactive power so reactive power can be written as q equal to vrms irms and the sine theta so sine theta 90 degree will be the one so the q equal to vrms into irms into one that is q equal to vrms into irms equal to r so the reactive power in volt ampere reactives were v in the rms value and the current i is the RMS amperes and they are 90 degree phase difference to each other and reactive power that is I, I square R reactance can be uh, determined with the help of R. So the apparent power of a circuit can be determined with the help of the both active and the reactive power in the form of uh, the, that we have seen that the complex power is the, the help of the power triangle law, the right angle triangle law, we have calculated the apparent power. Okay, so that power that is P is known to as we have seen above that the real power is dissipated by the resistance and the reactive power is supplied to a reactance. The real power is uh, done with the help of a resistance and the reactive power is done with the help of a reactance. That is the uh, reactive power. So the, the, as a result, this current and the voltage problems are not in phase due to the phase difference between the surface resistive and reactive components that is seen to us. So there, if there is a mathematical relationship between the that mathematical relationship between the P, that is the reactive power and the apparent power and also the real power also seen to us. Okay, it is denoted by the VA. So this is the power triangle that we have all seen about the power triangle. And we have also known about the factor that is called the power factor. Power factor is also known to us that we have done. So real power equal to apparent power into power factor and power factor equal to the ratio of the real power in watts, real power in watts and the apparent power in the volt ampere that is seen to us. Now we have run an example that given that a wound coil that has an inductance of 108 Milliam Henry and the resistance of 35 ohm is connected to a 100 volt 50 hour supply. Calculate it, the impedance of the coil, the current, the power factor, and the apparent power consumed. So, also draw the resulting power triangle of the above coil. So, given data that R value is 35, L equal to 180 millihenry and V equal to 100 volt RMS and F equal to the frequency 50 hertz. So, the impedance of the coil R is given 35 ohm and the XL is the inductive reactance that is given as 2 pi f into l that is 2 pi into frequency is 50 hertz and l is 0 0.18 henry so 56.6 ohm so the resultant z is root over r square plus xl square equal to root over 35 square plus 56.6 square equal to 65.5 ohm okay so this is called the impedance of the triangle where we are taking another term that is called Inductive reactance x l yeah, is 2 pi f omega into l that is 2 pi f into l that is called the inductive reactance of the circuit. Okay, so now the current that is consumed that is done by v equal to iz i equal to v by z v is given 100 so 100 by 65.5 equal to 1.5 ampere RMS value. So what is the power factor? Power factor that we have just seen that the power from the power triangle law. That the power factor can be found that is cos theta equal to the power factor can be found cos theta equal to r by z cos theta equal to r by z from there cos theta equal to r by z so we know the value of r we know the value of the z so from that particular instead we easily calculate the cos theta equal to r by z and sin theta equal to xl by z okay so the sine theta from that particular instant can easily be found sine theta equal to from that equation x by z here x equal to x okay so this two equation is known to us so using that two equation we just easily found the value of the cos theta so from there putting the value of r and z we are finding the cos inverse is 58.2 lagging why lagging because it is the x the conception of the inductor will force a lagging tube that we known to us. So the apparent power that is consumed by the coil is P equal to VI cos theta. So value of V is known to us, I is 1.5 and putting the cos value, it is the unit is 79 watt. So what is the value of Q? So VI sine phi. So uh, uh, V value is 100, I value is 1.5 and sine value is 58.2 that is 127.5 watt. So what is the apparent power? A is equal to V into I, that is 100 into 1.5 that is 154. So 
we can easily use the find the as with the help of as equal to root over t square plus t square that is the from the right angle triangle law that we have seen that is as is root over 79 square plus 170 127.5 square this is 150 da and this is and this is, is same so what is the power triangle this is the power triangle of the coil so it is seen that uh, this is the value of ql that is putting in the bar lagging and this is the value of theta is 58.2 degree that we have found that is the theta value then theta value that is uh, uh, 58.2 degree cos theta value that we have found we have put there and we have put the uh, va value that is 150 va and that is the uh, and that is the vi cos theta value 79.1 what and this is the ql value that is 127.5 we are lag so as the power triangle the relationship of the central example demonstrate at the 0 0.526 is or 52.63 percent power factor of the coil requires 150 v of the power to produce 79 watts of useful watt in other words at 52.63 percent of the power factor the coil takes about 89 percent more current into the same work which is a lot of wasted current adding that the power factor correction capacitor Approach the coil in order to increase the power factor of the system. That is, we are known, all known to us that the, in order to increase the power factor, we are under the capacitors. So it is seen that the angle, and we are drawn the power triangle. Okay. So today we have learned about the conception of active power, reactive power, apparent power, and also their units. That is, the unit of the active power is kilowatt. Unit of the apparent power is uh, Pa, and units of the reactive power is kVAR. And uh, from the conception of the triangles law we can easily comment on the, uh, the values of the active power reactive power and the apparent power so active power is required in order to run all the loads and compensate the losses while the reactive power is required in order to produce the flux and resultant of these two power is known as an that is the the, the resultant of these two power that is called the complex power is known as an complex power resultant is known as an apparent power so from that particular thing, we are also comment on the power factor. Power factor is the ratio of the kilowatt by kVA, that is the active power to the apparent power is known as a power factor. And also we have done a problem related with that. And also we have seen that uh, impedance triangle and inductive reactance and the capacitance that is XL equal to 1 equal to 2 by F into L and comment on the cost theta is the power factor is R by Z. And we are also uh, uh, find the impedance triangle uh, and also the power triangle conception. And now we are also uh, find the power factor for a particular problem and we can also comment on that power factor too.